Good evening, softball fans, and welcome to episode 41, season two, here's Sports Talk with Rags, and we have a special episode here tonight, here with uh, a softball episode, and talking with the head coach of the Hanover Hornets 2026 team, Marty Plank. Uh, Marty, uh, how are you doing this evening? Thanks for the idea, and you want to go ahead and introduce your uh, players that we have coming on. Absolutely, uh, Rags. Thank you for having us. Uh, we, we, the girls that were at practice last night, we, uh, I kind of gave them the heads up about the legendary show that you have there in Hampton Roads and how there's been some famous people on there. Uh, but yeah, and, and and what you're doing to you know, grow the the sport of of girls fast pitch softball. It's awesome to hear too that, you know, you had Nasman Suffolk uh, on, um, you know, three time state champions. Uh, They're lucky they don't have to play us though. So, (laughs) but yeah, I'm going to go, I'll I'll just go right through, I'll follow the boxes. So of course, uh, the first one's here with me, my daughter, Emily Plank, uh, number four. Uh, We also have next to Emily Casey Wagner, Number eleven yeah. in Williamsburg. You're yeah. gonna find Mark. You're gonna find that we cover the entire state. So yeah. Uh, the next young lady, one of my one of my favorites, who I've known for a very long time, is Carter Dunham, right here in Glen Allen. Uh, Kaylee Taylor is a Western Branch right. Bruin. We have no idea where she <laughs> is. She looks like maybe yeah. she's in a car, right. a camper. You just never know. So. Uh, hopefully she's not driving. That, that's <laughs> right. illegal. No, um, but she's from the WB, you know? The WB, man. That's what it's all about. So uh, super proud of, of where she's from. We talk about that a lot. So uh, next to Kaylee is uh, Summer Jones. Summer is in Charlottesville, Virginia, uh, or maybe Crozet Summer. I, I, I'll let you talk about that. I don't want to. Uh, but but a beautiful place to live and and uh, go to school. Uh, below her, we have uh, a young lady who hasn't smiled she, since she got on, uh, Virginia Dow. It's not Kimberly Dow. Uh, uh, Virginia lives in Percival, Virginia, so about uh, two and a half hours north of uh, Richmond. And then we have uh, in the middle bottom half, Zana Wolf. Zana lives in Colonial Beach, which Colonial Beach, I don't, do you know where Colonial Beach is, Mark? I bet you don't. No, I don't. Well, you'd have but, to wait to talk to her, so. That's right. And then last but not least, uh, Jillian, it looks like she's uh, up in her party room on the third level. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jillian is, uh, lives in King William and, will, and goes to King William High School. Um, so she's not too far from us, um, not, not too far out from Mechanicsville. Uh, Sydney Eubank was on. She lives in New Kent County. Uh, like I said, not much Internet out in New Kent County. And then I see Mark Brand, uh, uh, Avery Brand, uh, is from Rappahannock. So we've got – we have a lot of girls that live in and around the river uh, in central Virginia, so – Right. Thank you for having us, Mark. Oh, sure. Sure. Oh, no then, problem. Then, sorry. Sorry. I, I forgot to mention we have P. Diddy here, too. So right. you can barely see him, but yeah. He was excited. What's up, Parker? So, yeah. And we also have here on the, uh, on, on your team, uh, Destiny, Destiny Bryant. But, uh, let's see. Um, let's see here. We'll, uh, we'll start here with, uh, Jillian. Uh, let's see. So, how long have uh, how long have you been playing there for uh, there for the Hornets uh, softball organization? Um, I have been only been playing for the Hornets for a year. Okay. All right. And where? And let's see. I know that uh, Coach Plank uh, introduced you, but where where exactly are are you from? Because I know that this is a, a well represented. Uh, around the Commonwealth here with uh, here with the team. I am from King of Rain, Virginia. Okay. And what what position do you play? I play pitcher first and third. Pitcher. Okay. 
All right. Let's see. And then we'll uh, we'll go up here from the top. Uh, Z- Zane- Zania Wolf. Let's see. So where w- where are you from here on the Hanover Hornets? Uh, Colonial Beach. Colonial Beach. Now, where where exactly is Colonial Beach? Um, it's uh southwest of southeast of Fredericksburg. Okay. All right. And uh, let's see what uh, what position what position do you play here for the twenty twenty six Hornets? Catcher and third base. All right. And and how long have you been playing? For the um, Hornets? Earlier this year. Okay. All right. And then uh, going to my right here with, uh, let's see, with uh, Virginia Dow. Um, how long have you been uh, playing there for uh, Coach Plank and the Hornets organization? Um, I've been playing for the Hornets for about a year. Okay. All right. And where where are you, uh, where are you from? I'm from Percival, Virginia. It's west of Leesburg. Right. Yes. Yeah. It's, uh, let's see. I think uh, Percival has a has a Coastal Plains League team. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, summer summer baseball. But what is your uh, what's your uh, position there with the Hornets? I'm a pitcher and first baseman. Okay. All right. Virginia, and then, do you have uh, the name of the Coastal Plains team? Cannons baseball team. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. So let's see. And then just continuing on uh, that row, uh, next we have uh, Carter Carter Dunham. Let's see. Uh, uh, Carter, are you uh, you there with us? Yeah, I'm here. All right. And where, uh, where, where are you from? I'm from Short Pump. Okay. All right. So, hey, right there in the um, right there in the eight hundred four. Uh, how long have you been playing for the Hornets, and what position do you play? I just joined the team at like the start of the fall season, and I play outfield. Okay. All right. And let's see. Continuing down that road, we have uh, Kaylee uh, Taylor, aka KT, and uh, Coach Plate told me that you're from the WB. I am. Yes. Well, hey, uh, you know, uh, Coach Plank and uh, and my brother uh, played baseball against one another, and my brother and I are Western Branch alums. So uh, let's see, what? Uh, how long have you been playing for the Hornets, and what position do you play? Um, after this fall, I'll be. I've played for the Hornets for a year, and I catch and play outfield. All right, all right, and then uh, let's see. Uh, going up there at the top, we have uh, we have Summer Jones there with us, and uh, Summer there in uh, Crozet. That's uh, that's just outside of Charlottesville, right? Yeah. All right, and how long have you been playing for the Hornets, and what's what's your position? Um, I just joined this fall, and I play second and short. Okay. All right. And then uh and then we have uh Casey Casey Wagner. Hi. Hey Casey uh th- and so uh so where where are you from and how long have you been uh playing for the Hornets? Um I'm from Williamsburg and I've been playing for about a year. Okay. All right. And what uh what position do you play? I play second base and outfield. Second base and outfield, and then uh, let's go to uh, let's see, uh, Marty. Before we go to your crew, let's go back down to the bottom here, and we have uh, Avery Avery Brand with us. Uh, Avery, how you doing this evening? I'm good. How are you? Hey, I'm doing great. Uh, so let's see where where are you from, and how long have you been playing for the Hornets? I'm from Calio, Virginia, and I've just joined this fall. Okay. All right. And what position do you play? Pitcher, first base, and outfield. Okay. All right. So hey, uh, let's see. And then uh, Coach Plank here. Let's. Uh, I know. Uh, first of all, uh, Emily. Um, what position? What position do you play? 
Um, I play middle infield, outfield, and my pitcher. All right, all right, and then uh, let's see. Um, how long has how long has the Hornets? Uh, let's see. Now, what team did you play for, or have you always been playing for the Hanover Hornets? My second year at 12U, I played for Nicely. And then once 14U started, we converted to Plank, and we had two uh, 14U teams. Okay. So I've been playing Hornets for three years. All right. All right. So uh, let's see. Uh, Coach Plank, you uh, you definitely have the Commonwealth uh, represented here on the uh, 2026 uh, Plank Hornets team. We do, uh, you know, it, it, it is, <clears throat> you, you couldn't ask for a better uh, group of young ladies, right? And I'm super proud of, you know, where they're from and what they represent and kind of covering, you know, Hampton Roads, Central Virginia, either no Northern Virginia, um, but just, you know, uh, a wonderful group of young ladies that work extremely hard um, and put a lot of time into their craft, right? So. Um, you know, it's, it's not easy to, uh, you know, play a sport, especially travel. I, I think a lot of people don't realize that travel softball is demanding. You play a lot of games, um, and you play a lot of games in the heat, uh, especially July, August. It's, it's hot, uh, and playing four softball games, it's a little bit different than baseball, right? You might get two games in baseball, um, but, but I've always, you know, I grew up as a baseball guy, but definitely have fallen in love with the sport of softball because it's so fast paced um and, and it just moves a lot quicker and i think that you know over the past few years you've seen the sport growing and growing and growing um and, and we've had you know obviously a lot of our the, the organization the hornets we've seen a lot of our girls go on to play obviously great high school careers but also in college too so and a lot of these girls they're they're they're, they're striving and they have goals to you know, not only make and contribute to their high school team, but also to play after high school. So, yeah. We yeah, and I do know uh, also you have uh, Destiny uh, Bryant on the team. And, uh, you know, you guys are uh, you guys are getting ready to uh, play right off of uh, Kempsville Road here this weekend at uh, at City View Park here. And with it being Halloween, Halloween weekend. Um, wh what is it? Saturday is pool play, and then and then Sunday's uh, elimination day. Yeah. So so we actually just played this weekend. We had a lot of fun. It was a little chilly, a little windy, uh, but the girls played outstanding. We went five and zero. Oh. Um, you know, it, it was a lot of great competition. Uh, and, and this weekend, even tougher, right? Uh, but yeah, we're we're gonna play three games on uh, Saturday. Thank God the tournament director gave us a. I think he gave us an eleven thirty start. So uh, we'll have three games on Saturday, and then we'll go to a single elimination on Sunday. Um, and then we actually play the next two weekends after that. Mark, we play in the fall championship in Richmond, and then we actually mm -hmm. head out to Spartansburg, South Carolina. We're super excited. We're gonna be playing in a showcase. Uh, so there's going to be a lot of college coaches, uh, and uh, we'll actually be coached. I think we'll have three coaches assigned to us. I'm, I've, I've kind of made special requests to get who we want, but we'll see. We'll see who we get. Um, but we're super excited. They, they, these girls finally get an upgraded coach uh, with with some of these college uh, coaches that have a lot of experience and can really, you know, take a look at you know what they need to work on and and what they're really good at. Right. And uh, let's see. And then with wrapping, with wrapping the fall up here in two weeks, then um, then take a break with winter conditioning. Then then the girls will play for their school there in the spring. And then it then it picks back up when uh, when school's over. Right. Yeah. Yeah. The, you know, the, the sad part about the fall is you end the fall and then there's a little bit of a resting period. Um, but the Hornets, we, we have a, a partnership now with a place called RBA West. So we have an indoor facility. Um, but but most high school coaches, um, at least up in Richmond, um, you know, once they start high school softball, it's 
you know, they, they really want them focused on that. They don't, you know, they have no injuries. So it's, <laughs> we kind of have to shut down until, and it's, it's crazy. Like Jillian's uh, when her season starts and ends is a few weeks, you know, after let's say Emily's or Carter's, you know, so it depends on where you live. Um, and, and I'm sure KT down in Hampton roads, you know, you just, you, you know, so you might have a kid that, uh, you know, their season ends, you know, uh, two weeks before everybody else. Then, of course, if 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 one of the girls is lucky enough to make the playoffs, like a regional or a state, then they're they're going to go all the way to at least Memorial Day weekend. So, right. And uh, hey, um, I I certainly appreciate uh, having having your team on. And uh, sorry for the for the one person that is trying to get on. But uh, hey, uh, real quick here, there's. Um, Last but not least, we got we got old uh, old P Diddy there uh, that we haven't uh, we haven't talked to. What's up there, Parker? Hi. Hey. So uh, so yeah, I know that uh, I know that my wife and I have uh, definitely been uh, praying praying for you there, buddy. Well, I will tell you this, Mark. These these young ladies, uh, you know. Win or lose, you know, I always tell them to pray for the umpires, you know, when the umpires are standing there. But one thing they do religiously is before every game, you know, they get together and uh, I don't listen. I, I, don't, I let them do their thing. And but they I, I think they're always praying for P. Diddy uh, and, and, and each other, hopefully. Um, but it's, it's special to watch them come together. Um, they've been they and their families have been super supportive. Uh, so that's super special to our family, um, and it's, it just goes with what the Hornets are all about. To be honest with you, yeah, and I know that they, I know that you had a, a ice cream, ice cream fundraiser, and um, other other fundraisers there in the Shore Pump area. Yeah, we have a golf tournament coming up in the spring. We'll definitely make sure that we uh, get you and and some of my Hampton Roads friends uh, to come up for that. Yeah, the ice cream fundraiser, you know, it, you know, we probably made enough money to buy probably two or three softballs, but uh it was it was worth it. We're thankful for the people that came out. Yeah, well, it's uh let's see. I know uh I know definitely um equipment isn't isn't cheap these days, but the but the popularity of uh of softball, I mean just uh, you know, with uh with travel then on to high school then you know college i mean when when february comes all the way up to uh all the way up to may i mean uh through espn and streaming i mean uh college softball is uh is is um televised a lot yeah it's uh i i think what really just made it explode was when JMU got, obviously, not that I'm a JMU fan by any means, but um, when they got to the World Series, the final, and had a chance to beat Oklahoma, um, that was special. And then, of course, you know, Peyton St. George, who who helped start the program at Duke, she was a former Hornet, um, you know, just a star athlete from Atlee High School, uh, to watch her go and, and get to a Super Regional um, and play professionally. Um, yeah, I, I, I think um, – I, we, there's a lot of people that watch girls softball. Um, and, and we always talk to the girls about, um, you never know who's watching you, you know, you, you go play in a tournament, um, and, and there's always someone standing there and you don't know it. And they're watching how you, how you run on and off the field and how you handle adversity and, uh, all those things. So yeah, it's, it's definitely something that's, uh, exciting. And, um, if I have a choice to watch a, college softball game or a college baseball game, unless it's old dominion that I'm definitely going to watch the girls softball game. Yeah. And how long have you been uh, coaching and associated there with the uh, Hornets organization? So this is just my second year. Um, I've just helped out on the side. And then uh, the Hornets actually have uh, two 14 U teams that are here in, in the Richmond area. Uh, we have another first year 14 U team uh, here. They're also coming down this weekend. Um, and then we have another uh, 14 U team out West. I think they're in uh, between Lynchburg and Roanoke. Um, yeah. So, so they're, they're coming down next weekend to Richmond. So 
a lot of talent, great organization. Um, and we have we have teams in every single age division: ten U, twelve U, fourteen U, sixteen U, eighteen U. Yeah. And uh, last last thing: uh, how many how many teams are in this uh, uh, spooky bash here this weekend <laughs> at uh, City View? I mean, that's a nice uh, nice complex there for uh, softball. Yeah, we're a little jealous. We're not. I think this is our first time playing at City View. I, I used to play there when I was younger, uh, right. but we, we do love PA Park. I mean, I love that facility. Uh, I think there's over 60 teams between all the age groups. I think in uh, 14 year, there's probably around 18 to 20 teams. All right. So, well, yeah, like five, five brackets of four teams, probably. Yeah. Okay. Well, hey, we're playing, I, uh, team, we're playing a team from down there. Uh, I think KT knows Inferno. Uh, I think they're from down that way. Okay. Yes, I did see on the social media on your Facebook page, it has down the uh, the three teams that you guys are playing there on Saturday. Yeah. So it's we're excited to come down, and uh, before you know it, we'll be uh, we'll, we'll have a bunch of cars coming down your way. Right. Yes. Well, hey, uh, girls and. Uh, and Parker and uh, Coach Plank, uh, certainly appreciate everybody's time. And Coach Plank, uh, appreciate the uh, the idea. So, um, you know, good luck to the uh, good luck to the Hornets this weekend here at uh, here at City View Park here in the seven five seven. Yeah, Mark. Make sure you take a keep these names written down because one day, you know, you're probably going to see maybe you know maybe. You get an autograph or you go see yes. somebody on TV. So, yeah. Well, right. well, well, hey, you know, I mean, uh, these girls here with uh, 2026 20, year, and um, you you have a couple that's uh, that's 2027. 20, you know, we won't uh, we won't say when uh, Ragsdale and Plank, you know, uh, first uh, for, <laughs> yeah. first faced off, but I think that was around. Uh, 14 years old <laughs> yeah yeah that is that is true my heart was broken that night so yeah <laughs> well all right y'all well hey thanks again for uh for coming on and um you know good luck this weekend and uh my wife and i will continue to uh follow you guys there on uh, game changer and there on your facebook and twitter page so uh so thanks again for y'all's time and uh Good luck this weekend. Thanks, Rags. All Thanks, right. ladies. Sure thing. Take care. All right. We'll see All you. Right. Bye. See y'all. Thank you. You're, You're welcome. welcome. Thank you. Bye.